Figure P2-24, we um, have uh, worked on this before in, uh, in different videos and uh, I've always kind of drawn the, the one quadrant and mirrored and mirrored uh, the, uh, the half and end up with the, uh, the full shape. And I think this time I'm going to go with the, uh, the offsets. The offset, when I've done the, uh, the ribs previously, have always been kind of a of an issue with the uh, where they terminate the lengths and uh, and whatnot. So we're going to give this a, a try with um, with a few offsets, and then we'll uh, we'll mirror at least part of the geometry, and then mirror it over to complete the um, the shape. So this is metric. Um, do want to point out we're not really given a center for this. Um, middle little swoop so pretty much your geometry is going to have to be through this segment and then uh, once we've uh, completed the mirror then we'll be back into this um, into this tangent arc at 40 um, or radius of 40. File new and we'll pick up the millimeter part Going into the uh, front sketch, let's go ahead and set our center lines. I'm going to do both infinite uh, length horizontal, and then we'll switch over to vertical, and that will give us the um, the start of our shape. So one of the things we can do is that center point uh, for the uh, for the arcs is the 15 millimeter, no, 12 millimeter hole at the, um, the base, at the uh, the center line, and it is 60 from the middle. All right, so from that vertical center line. All right, so my center point arc is still active. I'm going to drag it through, and it went the correct direction, so that's always a good sign. I'm going to drag it through uh, approximately what um, what I think I'm going to need it to end up with. And then let's go ahead into offset entities. We have 10 millimeters for the, uh, for the thickness. It offsets yellow... Um, previous and I didn't apply that dimension so it really doesn't matter which way I go with it. Right, so the outside goes to a radius of 80. Alright so for the lines then let's see if we do an offset and this one is going to be I was looking at 45 degrees. Alright, so I really want, if we do this as, a, as an offset, I really want this to be a center line so it doesn't participate in the, uh, the sketch or something else that I have to, uh, to pick when I go into, uh, into that geometry. So let's see, one of the things we could uh, look for on the intersection as I'll go ahead and mirror this around the horizontal. Okay, and then let's see where the offset comes in on this piece. So we have um, the ribs are 5 and 10, so I'm going to go bidirectional. 10 millimeters and that gives me kind of the start of that intersection so we can go ahead and hit OK. Alright, main thing is that they overlap up here and when I select that, uh, that center line then or select the line that I want to be the center line then I can uh, uh, bring it into the um, into the mix. Alright, so let's go ahead and mirror these so select, control select the uh, the other line, control select the center line, 
are going to mirror. And, and then I'm just going to bring that point, uh, left click, hold down on the endpoint, drag it till it finds that, uh, that coincidence. All right, so the thing with the, uh, the offset, well, let's go ahead and put a dimension on that since it will end up as 10. So the thing with the offset, and we, we're going to see this again when we go, well, nope. I gave it a 10 and just noticed that it was 10 overall, so let's go with 5. And we'll bring that one back to 5. Okay, that's looking a little better. So as you notice, those uh, those oversights, those, those items, um, we'll just correct them as we go. All right, so with the offset, I'm going to select the endpoint and we're going to drag it back to where it finds that intersection. And then I'm not worried we're going to use the contour and region, so I'm not worried about trimming out uh, the segments of the arc. So let's bring one off the vertical out to the intersection, and then I'll mirror it over. So select, control, select, and mirror. We'll give it a dimension. The, um, the middle segment is 30. Okay, and we'll be right click back into select. I kind of get that out of my way. And then the offset again, I'm going to drag it back till it finds that uh, intersection with the lines. All right, so offset and convert entities, even though they're showing um, all fully defined, is in certain instances you'll be able to drag those back. All right, so then the Next would be, well, let's go ahead and um, I do want to include uh, that segment, so we'll go ahead and uh, put that in, and that's also going to be a 10 millimeter rib, so 5 millimeters on the half. All right, and the little arc that comes down this way is going to be a tangent arc. And we'll bring it down till it uh, finds that uh, end point. All right, and we did, if we did the math, then we would come up with uh, a radius based on, well, let's just go ahead and complete it then. <laughs> so I want to, uh, to mirror these over. All right, so don't necessarily have to build all of the geometry. I can build it in segments or as I see it, and then create those shapes. So the lower segment, since this didn't come quite all the way around, I want to make sure that that connects, and then it should still be, well, let's see how that moves. All right, so they're moving together and they're moving correctly. I didn't see that. Uh, when I, uh, when I first went to position it. All right, so a left to, to right click, we're going to ignore the, the center lines. And then if I go into mirror entities without selecting, it found something there. All right, oh, it found these center lines, all right. So in that case, let's see what it does if I grab the vertical. All right, so it's still kind of lost, and even with that vertical, I'm going to deselect it out of the uh, the top group, and I'm going to make it a mirror about. All right, so now I can see that uh, that preview. All right, and then we're going to tangent arc, and we'll connect the dots. Okay, and then if we wanted to make these two arcs. I can do the select, control, select, and I could make them equal, but I could also select the center line and make them symmetric. All right, both of those would work. And then when we apply our radius dimension of 40, we're going to see if that goes fully defined. All right, so since it didn't go fully defined, we're going to move just a little bit 
and that arc isn't quite picking up uh, the, the same geometry as what we the arc we just created. So another select, control, select, and then those will be concentric. So that sets the center point, and that gives me my shape. Okay, so uh, we're going to go to a thickness of 20. All right, so I'm fully defined. I've got that full region. We're going to extrude and thickness is 20 and then the contours and regions we'll pick the uh, the regions and based on that geometry I only have to make the two selections looks like it filled everything out okay so the issue with the uh, the shape then is we have fillets and rounds of five millimeters so all of the interiors so pretty much just want to get to a position where I can pick and I'm going to use this middle mouse uh, scroll wheel to zoom up and we'll select the fillet set it to five millimeters on the radius and then we're going to take advantage rather than going through and selecting each one of the uh, the intersecting corners we're going to take advantage of that pop-up so as soon as I select the second one have a little bit of a pause and let the video card catch up <laughs> alright so connected to the start loop that'll go around and then that is all of the interiors pretty much everything highlights so over the outside and then the last one is kind of grayed out connected so everything connected to uh, to that last selection so the second one is what I want maybe there we go let it catch up and we're gonna see it populate out all of those edges and then we'll accept the selection okay so control one and we can save out uh, this piece and that will finish out chapter 2.